Good afternoon. Before we begin, here are a few reminders to ensure that our event goes smoothly. Please know that this online event will be recorded. Except for the speakers, all other participants will be put on mute. May we also request to rename yourselves following the format being flashed on the screen. We will have a photo session before we end the program, during which we would like to request you to turn on your cameras. We will share more instructions later. If you have questions, please submit it via G form. The link is provided at the chat box, or you may type it directly in the chat box and send it to Sose QA underscore Grace. We will be asking those questions on your behalf during the plenary QA. We will begin shortly. Good afternoon once again. Before we begin, here are a few reminders to ensure that our event goes smoothly. Please know that this online event will be recorded. Except for the speakers, all participants will be put on mute. May we also request to rename yourselves following the format being flashed on the screen. We will have a photo session before we end the program, during which we would like to request you to turn on your cameras. We will share more instructions later. Once again, if you have questions, please submit it via G form. The link is provided at the chat box, or you may type it directly in the chat box and send it to Sosec QA underscore Grace. We will be asking those questions on your behalf during the plenary QA.
Let us put ourselves in the presence of God for the invocation to be followed by the Philippine National Anthem.
Good afternoon, future Athenians. We are the School of Science and Engineering, and we are truly glad to welcome you to this virtual open house. I'm your host, Sean Cal Villegas, someone you can always count on, a bio student that is stressed 24-7, but on a scale of 1 to 10, I am 11. I would like to give congratulations to all of you who got accepted into the Ateneo de Manila University for BS Biology, BS Life Sciences, and BS Health Sciences. Also, a big, big congratulations to our scholars. I'm sure you all guys deserve it. You've done well. For today's plenary, you'll get to know your school better. We are here to guide you through SOSE and Ateneo if you have any questions about it. This is going to be exciting. Ito na ang exciting part. We would also like to acknowledge the presence of our, bio, uh, our department chairs from the Department of Biology. Kindly turn on your departments and say hi. Dr. Janice Ragaza, incoming chair of bio department. Hello. And Dr. GJ Adarlo of the Health Sciences Program. Hello. All administrators, faculty, staff, students, and guests who are joining us today. And now, let us welcome our university president, Father Bobby Yap, of the Society of Jesus. Hello, and welcome to Ateneo de Manila University. I'm Father Bobby Yap, and I'm truly glad you are here for today's reception. First of all, congratulations and welcome to the next phase of your life's journey. Being accepted into Ateneo College is no easy feat. You have been chosen out of thousands from across the nation and around the world who want to experience the unique education and formation our university offers. In each one of you, we saw great potential for excellence and leadership, not only in academics, but outside the classroom as well. And we know that you have the talent and skill to become engaged and valuable members of society in the future. College will be a transformative phase in your life, one that will be a major part of your quest to fulfill your ambitions for yourself and your family. But I know that your potential for change goes beyond yourselves, and that is the bigger, more important reason why you are here today. You all have it in you to be agents of positive change in society, especially during these complex, volatile, ambiguous, and truly uncertain times. You can be a force for good in this world. And what does being a force for good entail? It asks of you to become brave. It asks of you to make a stand for the ideas and values we hold dear. Justice, truth, integrity, honesty, equality, inclusiveness, openness. The things that are the bedrock of a free and democratic society, even in the face of opposition and lies. It asks of you to go beyond your comfort zones. It asks of you to step out into the real world, to spark conversations with people beyond your own circle of friends and family. It asks of you, to actually listen to their stories, their hopes, their dreams, their sorrows. Because by truly listening, you will be able to better understand how you can help them build a better future for themselves and for everyone. 
And when you are presented with a choice, choose the more giving, more loving option. Whatever degree program or major you chose, an Ateneo education will present you not just with opportunities for personal growth and development. Ateneo will present you the problems and realities of the world and along with it the tools necessary for you to think critically and devise lasting solutions. An Ateneo education and formation will push you to become braver, more confident and more loving. Recently, we have outlined a 10-year university strategic plan, which we have called Looks in Domino 2030. The name comes from the words that are inscribed in our university seal, Lux in Domino, Latin for light in the Lord. We chose it because truly, this is what drives Ateneo's core mission, to be the Lord's light in the world by forming persons for and with others. And we found it appropriate to name our strategic plan Lux in Domino because this is what our times call for. Our world needs people who will shine a light and lead the way. We are being called to change our ways as we emerge from a crippling pandemic and be prepared to face future threats to our collective health and safety. We are being called to address the crisis that has engulfed our nation's educational system. We are being called to immediately act and respond to the cry of an abused earth and to work towards a planet that our descendants can still call home. And we are being called to reach out to our fellow Filipinos in order to understand and heal the painful cultural, political, and social divides that hamper our nation's real inclusive progress. So I challenge all of you, be brave, make a stand, Go out of your comfort zone, step out into the real world. Choose the more caring, more loving path. Let us work together and create the future we all want and deserve. And Ateneo promises to stand by you and help you transform yourself into a force for good in our world. Thank you and I hope to see you all on campus very soon. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Father Bobby. Now, let us listen to the Vice President for the Loyola Schools, Dr. Marley Rojas. Welcome, dear students. Welcome to the Ateneo Loyola Schools. Welcome to the School of Humanities, School of Social Sciences, John Gokong Way School of Management, School of Science and Engineering, and the Gokong Way Brothers School of Education and Learning Design. Today is our open house. We invited you here and we thank you for accepting this invitation. With open arms, we let you in and your parents or guardians into our sanctuary so that you will get to know us better so that we become part of your story and you become part of ours. Who are we? We are Ateneg. This home is on a sprawling freshness of green under blue sky. More than our lush environment, we are Ateneo because of our core curriculum, a set of around 79 units of formative forces that are shared by all Ateneo. The Loyola School's core curriculum is our trademark, unparalleled by any other universities in the world, and that's guaranteed. The core and the major forces, plus non-academic formative activity, train our students to have competence, conscience, compassion, and commitment. To respond to realities with a critical appraisal of past and implications, with creative use of the imagination to find solutions concerned, with care and compassion for people. Your accounting class can take you to communities to introduce financial literacy there. Your student org may give you a premium experience tending to cancer patients in children's hospitals. Your NSCC class can help you discover the richness of ordinary folks 
in opportunities or in poor communities and be taught by their experience of justice. In economics, you may be doing baseline surveys on the economic conditions among the work. These activities help extend learning from the classroom to the community where education of the heart also in the Loyola School, you have various opportunities to develop your other talents. Management engineers can also be creative writers. Information designers can also be part of a project that does game design with computer science major. I know of literature majors who are also engaged in social entrepreneurship. The dance and music groups in the Loyola School are likewise populated by psychology, humanities, mathematics, business, science students as well. Interdisciplinarity is part of the DNA of Ateneo education in the Lakers. It allows you to discover other synergies and opens up a lot of exciting possibilities for learning characters. You'd be glad to know that after two years of online learning, the Loyola Schools is ready to come back to the campus face to face. That's an exciting time. We have reconfigured our spaces to keep up with health and safety protocols. Certified as a safe campus by the Quezon City Local Government Unit, we piloted face to face class the second semester. Those class interactions have been highly appreciated by both teachers and students for the warmth and immediate connection they achieved. More than a thousand seniors are participating in hybrid class and a couple more thousands in other on-site During the intercession in June and July, we shall have four classes on-site, hybrid, meaning some of the students in a class are on-site and others are joining online simultaneously. Or all students are on site at one point and the same students go online at another time. Or students are mostly online but they go on site for selected activities like exams and labs. This arrangement is a way of gradually arriving at a good balance between the gains of online learning and the robust experience of face-to-face -face interaction. It would be so great to see you all in our classrooms during the first and second semesters. I invite you to join us and be inspired in classes by award-winning professors who have excelled in their disciplines consistently and make learning a rewarding experience. If you are inclined to try our junior term abroad program, that's an opportunity that allows you to spend a semester in a foreign university. We suspended it for the last two years, but we are resuming it this coming school year. So this is a time to plan, to think about it, and plan early. In the Loyola schools, attention to students does not only happen in the classroom. It is also at the forefront of services specifically designed for them. During this pandemic, we set up what we call LS1, our virtual one-stop hub for student services. It has made students feel that they have a community online that attends to their needs, helping them navigate both the academic and non-academic terrain, guiding them in knowing where to go, for what they need, and always, always for someone at the end of the line or someone behind the digital connection to attend to their need. We shall continue to maintain this virtual hub even if we are going to back on site for our class. I am happy also to report that the Rizal Library continues to serve the students and faculty with its increasing collection of online materials that can be accessed from your bedroom or anywhere with a good Wi-Fi connection. The Rizal Library doesn't run out of initiatives in addressing learning and teaching needs. Come then and join us. In your breakout groups for school, you will get to know more specifically what lies in store for you in the field of study you have chosen. 
I hope you will come and join us in celebrating excellence as we continue to lead among Philippine universities in terms of real world impact based on the 2022 Times Higher Education Impact Rankings. Last year, when we first participated in the THE rankings, Ateneo was in the 200 to 300 bracket. This year, Ateneo de Manila jumped to the 100 ones, 200 bracket, the highest among the 15 Philippine institutes included in the ranking, with an overall score of 83.7 out of 100. It is also the highest overall placement of any Philippine institution since the impact grants that Come and join us and be counted among the graduates that have all the chances to get a job. Ateneo de Manila continues to stay high up in graduate employability ranking according to the latest QS World University. The 2022 list named four Philippine universities in total, with Ateneo de Manila ranked 151 to 160, being the only school in the top two. This means that Ateneo de Manila University is the best school in the Philippines when it comes to preparing students for the world beyond higher education. I think that is one evidence of our ability to take care of students' talents. I invite you to join us to breathe in beauty in our lovely campus that comes with spirit and reminds us to the greatness of God's creative abundance and profit. In this environment, friendships grow, narratives are held sacred, and hope thrives to sustain us as one community despite our diversity, despite our political, cultural, and social divide. It is to this community that we shall welcome you. We hope that you will grant us that privilege. God bless all. Thank you, Doc Marlu. Wow, the different Loyola schools were introduced. What do you guys think of them? Well, for me, the School of Science and Engineering, I find this school so fun. I can call this school my home. There are a lot of orgs under this school, and most of them are interesting. Everyone under the school, of course, not just this school, but the whole ADMO community, you can approach anyone and make a lot of friends. Believe me, I was a lost freshie once, but as time goes on, I made friends because the students here are nice and approachable. Let us now welcome our Dean, Dr. Rafael A. Guerrero. Thank you, Sean. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the School of Science and Engineering. Congratulations on your acceptance into our academic programs. I also congratulate your parents and guardians for this stellar achievement. Please allow me to share a few slides about SOSE. The School of Science and Engineering is one of the five Loyola schools of the Ateneo de Manila University. Loyola schools is what we call our college component in the Ateneo. In this picture, we have an overhead view of our science education complex. This facility houses our general science laboratories and our high-end research facilities. We also have different laboratories spread out across different buildings on campus. SOSE generates the most number of technical publications for the university. We, of course, have the biggest budget for research equipment. As our students, we hope that you share our vision to become a globally recognized leader in STEM education with the aim of serving Philippine society through multidimensional research. We hope that you join our mission as part of a community of educators, learners, and leaders that advances excellence and drives sustainable and inclusive national development through our efforts in research, education, innovation, and social engagement. Our students become vital components in our mission of research. Through your thesis projects, you contribute 
to our work in the following priority areas. Disaster science and resilience, emerging fields and technologies, environmental sustainability, public health and wellness, and STEM education. Many of our research initiatives are multidisciplinary and cut across departments. You will not be limited to a specific area of science or engineering. We recently held our Saucy Week for 2022, where we showcased outstanding research projects conducted by students over the past school year. In the Department of Biology, a thesis dealt with the discovery of five new insect species through analyzing genetic structure and physical characteristics. Even on our Loyola Heights campus, we discover new insect species. For health sciences, a group of students invest investigated the mental health of parents while dealing with online learning of their children. We see here the breadth and relevance of our research topics in SOSEC, where we contribute to the general body of knowledge with discovery, but also find ways to deal and solve pressing issues and problems facing society. SOSE students represent some of the best and brightest in the Ateneo. You are part of a batch of 2,546 accepted freshmen, and 58% of this year's top applicants went for SOSE programs. In 2022, SOSE students make up 21% of this year's graduating class, but 12 out of 27 or 44% of all students graduating summa cum laude are from the School of Science and Engineering. You are an excellent company. In the department breakout sessions later, you'll learn more about your specific academic programs. Our Department of Biology accepted 570 freshmen for this school year. The department chair, Dr. Chris Lopez, is represented by Dr. Jazz. Ragaza in this afternoon session. And for health sciences, we have 338 accepted freshmen, and you'll meet your director, Dr. Gigi Adarlo, later. At this point, I again invite all of you to join SOSIS mission to build the nation through science and engineering, commitment, and service. Thank you, and welcome to the Ateneo. Thank you, Dean Rafael A. Guerrero. Now, you may have a lot of questions about the Loyola schools in our particular school. We've been gathering the questions you've been submitting via chat box and G-form. On your behalf, we'll be fielding some of the questions to our Dean and the department chairs. So Dr. Rafael, um, there is one question here. Um, it says that how can one go on an internship by at least first year? Our programs already include an official OJT experience. This is usually scheduled during June and July, what we call intercession. We usually reserve this type of course for students nearing graduation. It will be part of your academic program. As a freshman, you are welcome to already join one of our many research groups in the School of Science and Engineering. And you can be an intern and start learning about research uh, in many different topics in our departments. So the official OJT is part of your curriculum, but you can be an intern in one of our many SOSE research groups. Just pick your field of interest, contact the faculty members involved, and they can help you, uh, they can help set you up with a research project so you can start learning uh, how to be a scientist and researcher. Thank you, Paul. Anyone else wants to ask some question, you can send it via Sauce Q and A underscore Grace, or you can directly message me. So here's a question, Paul. Um, can I do a GTA at Harvard?
we have GTE opportunities with our partner institutions. If we are able to find a host at Harvard, then we can facilitate uh, that GTE experience. But for now, we have a different list of partner institutions for GTE. Mostly uh, for uh, convenience, we have GTEs with our partner institutions in Japan, uh, some in Europe, and some in North America. So there is one more question. Um, I'd like to ask about if the highest, if the HS also has an STP. For health sciences, I'd like to invite our director, uh, Dr. Gigi Adarlo, to address uh, this concern. Yes, um, the National Service Training Program, or NSTP, is a requirement for all students regardless of what is your course in college. But what makes distinctly different from the NSTP in health sciences is that we try to align it with um, the public health care setting so that they can be uh, so that students can be able to engage with the community such as that we have partnership with Marikina City Health Office so they can be able to understand what is the role of a healthcare professional in a public health care setting. Thank you, Paul. Um, another question is that is it already face to face in the next academic year? If everything goes well with the health situation, for the School of Science and Engineering, our classes for first semester of school year 22-23 will be hybrid in format. We will still have some online components for our courses, but there will definitely be on-site activities. This will mostly involve uh, problem-solving sessions, assessments like exams, as well as, of course, laboratory activities. So we are prepared in terms of the safety protocols uh, being uh, in place for our campus. And we do have measures in case there's another surge and we need to go back to fully online implementation of the classes. But hopefully by first semester of this incoming school year, we will have a hybrid mode by default for SOSE. So for the last question, I am a transfer from UP's BS Biology program. I would like to ask regarding the crediting of units I've received from my previous university. Is there a chance I will still graduate on time? For this concern about our programs with the Department of Biology, I invite uh, Dr. Jazz Vargasa or Dr. Ron Cruz to address the question. I think Ron would be a better person to answer. Sir Ron? Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, definitely, you can get some of your subjects validated so that you will not have to repeat them. For example, if you've taken certain biology courses such as zoology or botany, you can have those validated. Uh, we've had cases where students transferring from another university have done ju just that and they were able to graduate on time. It really depends on how many of your courses will be validated. Thank you, Sir Ron. Thank you, Sir Rafael. Um, so thank you. You may email our dean at dean.sauce at ateneo.edu for questions and concerns related to the School of Science and Engineering. You may also email admissions.ls at ateneo.edu for admission concerns. Before we proceed to the department breakout sessions, may we invite you to turn on your videos and let's have a picture. Oh, before anything else, later on, we shall proceed to the departing breakout sessions where we'll be welcoming you to your course program and your home departments. May I remind all biology, life science students, and health science students, ah, no, may I remind biology and life science students to please remain in this Zoom, while for health sciences students, kindly wait for the link to be posted in the chat box. So, let's take a picture now. <laughs> okay, okay, Shan, okay.
give, uh, show your best smile, everyone. Okay, we have um, three groups for this gallery. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Okay, next group. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Okay, third group. One, two, three, smile. And then the last group. Okay, one, two, three, smile. The photo op is done. Back to you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, my God. I finally saw your faces, your smiles, but no. Put me in a good mood. So again, may I remind all biology life science students to please stay in the Zoom, while for health sciences students, kindly wait for the link to be posted in the chat box. To end this portion of the program, we want to share the song for Mary. Bio and life life students, please stay on this Zoom meeting. Thank you. On behalf of the entire School of Science and Engineering, we wish everyone a good day and may you all stay safe. Hoping to see you soon on campus. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Health size students, please go to your respective breakout rooms. Thank you. <laughs>